Welcome to the St. Michael Lenten podcast series. My name is Father Bob Scott, and I will be leading our meditation today, which includes prayers, a scripture reading, and a reflection on the reading. May you be strengthened for the Lenten journey. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Lord Christ, our eternal Redeemer, grant us such fellowship in your sufferings that filled with your Holy Spirit, we may subdue the flesh to spirit and the spirit to you, and at the last attain to the glory of your resurrection, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Do you know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death, or the present or the future, all belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Here ends the reading. Our reading today from 1 Corinthians speaks to us about us being God's holy temple here on earth, and that God's Spirit dwells within us at all times. Related to being God's holy temple, This can be difficult to accept given that some of our daily choices are not always what is best for us or others. We may feel that we are not worthy to be a dwelling place for a temple. However, I believe that by God's unconditional love and mercy given to each of us through Christ's crucifixion, death, and glorious resurrection, we can gain comfort in knowing that the Holy Spirit, given to us through God's grace, is with us at all times and in all places, guiding us gently to come to a closer relationship with God. As we grow in this relationship, we will become more like what God created us to be, a loving and caring individual who begins to put the needs of others before their own needs and who serves others expecting nothing in return but contentment and peace. Simply put, where love is, God is. In our passage today, we also hear a challenge to not deceive ourselves with our own perceived wisdom, and how this perception actually blocks our ability to learn. As Paul noted, We who choose to believe in Christ as our Savior become adopted into God's holy family through Christ. To grow in this relationship and become powerful witnesses to others through our actions, self-pride must be set aside, and a person with humility must evolve. I heard an acronym for ego that was helpful for me, E G. O stands for edge God out. Paul believed that if men introduce dissension and division into the society of the church, they will ultimately bring the downfall to the temple of God here on earth. For Paul, it was the worship of intellectual worldly wisdom that became the stumbling block to learning fully about the nature of Christ and God and the promise of everlasting life in heaven. Paul's phrase of becoming a fool was simply a vivid way to encourage others to be humble enough 
to be open to learning. An old proverb put it this way, He who knows not and does not know that he knows not is a fool. Avoid him. And he who knows not and knows he knows not is a wise man. Teach him. We're being called this day to examine our daily routine and choices, asking ourselves, are we willing to learn how to have a better and more fulfilling life? Are we willing to take even a baby step and reach out to someone we may know and admire for their seemingly joyful and calm spirit and ask them to share their secret to this spirit? Please know God is standing at the door to your heart and soul right now, gently knocking and waiting to be invited in. I pray you might choose to open the door and let him in. You will be glad you did. Amen. Please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.